What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about buying, withdrawing, transferring, and sending Kadena. I'm gonna teach you guys how to send USDT from KuCoin to Bybit because KuCoin is a ripoff, so we definitely wanna save money by using Bybit. We are going to withdraw Flux and KDA from KuCoin and send it to Zelcor. And I have everything timestamped down below in the description. So if you need to jump ahead, just check down below. So let's dive in. The first thing we are gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to log into Zelcor and Bybit to get our deposit addresses. If you guys have never used Zelcor, I strongly suggest you check out this video. It's by far the best crypto wallet and everything you need to know about how to set up a Zelcor account is right here in this video. Step number one, we're gonna log into Zelcor. Step number two, we're gonna make sure our portfolio tab is open. If not, click on little briefcase on the left-hand side that says portfolio. Step number three is gonna be choose what wallet you wanna use. Zelcor has six different individual wallets. I've labeled mine, yours might say inventory, mining, farming, liquidity, whatever they say. I've relabeled mine, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to click on the number six wallet that says Flux. If you do not see Flux in your wallet, you're gonna click the Manage Asset tab and we are going to add the asset. For example, if I click on Wallet 5 and I see that I only have Kadena in this wallet, if I click the Manage Asset tab, I click the plus sign to add an asset, we can see Flux. You're gonna see Flux Ergo, ETH, Flux KDA. When you're adding Flux and you wanna withdraw from Flux from an exchange, you wanna make sure that you are using the Flux only asset. So we're gonna add that asset to our wallet. And now if we click the show balance tab, we can see Flux and KDA in this wallet, but we're gonna use wallet six. Now that we have Flux and Kadena in our wallet, we're going to click the Flux logo. We're going to come down to the left-hand side and click the receive box. And this is going to display our Flux address. Our Flux address, I'm pretty sure, always starts with a T. So if you're withdrawing Flux from an exchange, make sure you're using the T address. So we're gonna copy this address. We are going to copy and paste our Flux address into our wallet. On the bottom of the screen, if we click the Wallet tab, we click Show Zero Balances. We click Kadena. Kadena has 20 different chains, but the address is all the same. When we withdraw Kadena from KuCoin, it's gonna withdraw it to chain one. But if I click the receive tab, you can see my Kadena address is right here. If I choose the chain dropdown and I choose chain one, the address doesn't change. So we're gonna copy, and I wanna make sure that you guys know that KuCoin withdraws the chain one. So if you copy this address and your wallet's still set to zero, chain zero, it's gonna show you that you have zero KDA in your wallet. You need to click on chain one to actually view your Kadena. Once we're on Bybit, we're gonna choose the asset dropdown. We're gonna come down to spot and we are going to click the deposit tab next to USDT. We're gonna choose the dropdown and we are going to choose the TRC20 address. This is the cheapest way to send USDT and we are going to copy that address as well. So now you can see that we have all three of our addresses here. Now, if we swing over to Chainweaver, this is the address we need. So if we just click the drop down, you can see all 20 chains. If you click the detail tab right here, it's going to display your address. We are going to copy this address. Okay, now we've gathered all the addresses that we need. Now, KuCoin is always the most confusing exchange. So I always click the KuCoin button so everybody starts on the same page. Click the KuCoin button, slide over to the right, hover over the wallet next to your avatar. Scroll down and we're gonna click main account. The first thing that we wanna do is withdraw Flux and send it to Zelcor. So we are going to click withdraw, bring over to our notepad, copy our Flux address, paste in our Flux address. Very important, we wanna choose the network. It's gonna automatically default to Flux because there's no other option. But this is very important because if this changes six months from now, they might have other options. For example, if I added Flux ETH and I were to hit receive, you can see that this Flux address is actually an Ethereum ERC20 address. So very important that you have the right Flux address in your wallet. We are going to choose all. I always used all because I want to withdraw everything from KuCoin. I never want to leave anything on here. And then in the remarks tab, very important, you got to type in KuCoin fees are a ripoff. They are charging you one Flux to withdraw Flux and Flux these are one one hundredth of a penny. So they are charging you 99% tax. 
tax to withdraw your crypto. Pretty crazy, right? Now, if we click on the withdrawal tab, it's gonna show you exactly how much flux you're withdrawing, the address you're sending it to, the network you're sending it on. Click confirm. It's gonna ask for your trading password. It's gonna ask for you to verify your email. So you have to click the send tab. I always make sure that I have my phone out and two-step in my hand ready to go. So that way I can swing over, grab my email. And after you type in all your information, just click submit and you're good to go. Now, if we swing back over here to Flux, it should take about 15 minutes. So let's do the same thing with Kadena. So this is how you withdraw Kadena from KuCoin. We're gonna click on the KuCoin logo in the top left so we're all on the same page. Hover over the wallet, slide down to main account, click main account. We are going to see our Kadena. We are going to click the withdrawal tab. Important note, we are withdrawing to chain one. So that's where your Kadena is gonna end up is on chain one, click okay. Swing back to our clipboard. Grab our Cadena address, our Zelcor Cadena address. We're going to copy it. We are going to paste it here. Make sure you're using an address that has the K in front of it. If you do not have the K in front of it, you're going to have issues. On the network dropdown, we're going to choose KDA. And of course, on KuCoin, KDA fees are 0.5. On Bybit and Binance, they are 0.1. So outrageous again. You have to click on the KDA icon here and click confirm. We are going to choose all. So it puts every penny in here. In remark tab, I always type KuCoin fees are a ripoff so they know. And we are going to click withdraw. It's going to show you the amount you're withdrawing, where you're sending it to, and the network that it's on. If you've recently withdrawn, you only have to type in your trading password. If not, you have to do the whole two-step. And boom, now our Kadena will be sent from KuCoin to our Zelcor wallet. Now, if we swing back over to Zelcor, Again, we have zero Kadena in this wallet in wallet number six. So the asset won't show a balance. Make sure you click the show balance tab. And eventually you're gonna see your Kadena show up here in your wallet. Now in this next part, we're gonna wanna send USDT from KuCoin to Bybit. That way we can buy Kadena on Bybit. And then we are gonna withdraw that Kadena on Bybit to Chainweaver. Ready? Let's dive deep. Now we're gonna swing back over to our notepad. Grab our Bybit USDT TRC20 address. Very important, it's a TRC20 address and it has to start with a T. Now we're gonna swing back over to KuCoin. Again, always click the KuCoin logo in the top left. Come to wallet, main wallet. So we have 185 Kadena. We're gonna click the withdrawal tab on the right. We're going to paste in our TRC20 wallet address. If we scroll down and we choose networks. Everything should be grayed out. The only one that should be black is the TRX Tron TRC20 address. Again, a dollar withdrawal fees on Bybit. You saw they were 50 cents. And we are going to choose the max. We are gonna choose all. In the remarks, make sure you type in KuCoin fees are a ripoff. Click withdraw, click confirm. It's going to show you exactly the coins, the address, the network, and confirm. Type in your trading password and boom. Now, if we swing back over to Zelcor, we can see that our flux just arrived. Now we have 4,245 flux in our Zelcor wallet. Our Kadena has not arrived yet, but it will. All right, now that we know how to send crypto from KuCoin to Bybit, let's jump over to Bybit and talk about how to buy Kadena on Bybit. And then we're gonna withdraw Kadena on Bybit to Chainweaver wallet. Let's get it. So if you come back over to Bybit and you're on the home page, you can just click the Bybit logo. If we choose the trade dropdown, we scroll over and we're just gonna click on spot trading. This way it opens up spot. On the left-hand side, you'll see a search bar. If you type in KDA, you're gonna see KDA USDT. Price is $1.46 right now. Now, what most people don't understand about these exchanges is understanding where liquidity is and how much liquidity is there. So if you choose the dropdown and you just choose 0.01 right here on your order book, and then you choose the red arrow, which is your sell orders, we can see that there are a lot of sell orders between $1.50 and $1.60. But if we choose the 0.01, it'll actually break it up into smaller increments. So I can see right now somebody's selling 3,047 KDA at $1.53. Somebody's also selling 1,800 at $1.47. 
price is at $1.46. So what that means is I'm gonna buy, if I market buy right now, I'm gonna be able to buy Cadena because somebody's selling a 1,953 Cadena right here for $1.47. So that means if I market in, I don't have to worry. If it's a giant order, if I wanted to buy 20,000 Cadena and I market buy right now and say, hey, I wanna buy right here, whatever the price is, it'll start filling up these orders all the way up. I mean, if you put in a $100,000 order, it might all go all the way up to $3.50. So be very careful, make sure you understand that these exchanges might not have a lot of liquidity, but Bybit's been doing a really good job at keeping liquidity over here. So if I market buy and I type in, I wanna buy $100 worth of Cadena right now and I click buy, it's going to buy me 100 Cadena at whatever the current price is. So I'm gonna set buy and I'm gonna hit buy. And you can see right here, it's showing me that I'm gonna buy 68 Cadena for $100 and I'm gonna click buy. And you see, you see price just moved up there, that one little candle, because price was at $1.46. As soon as I bought, it shot right up to $1.47. Now, if you're in no rush to buy your Cadena, you can also do limit orders. So let's say I think that the price of Cadena is probably gonna come down to like $1.40. I come over here at $1.40 and I can say, okay, at $1.40, I'm going to buy 175 Cadena and I'm going to place the buy order and hit confirm. You can see my past orders over here. All buy, 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 buy. I've never sold any Cadena, but I might one day. Current open orders. I have a buy position now here for $245 at $1.40. I could set one at $1.42. And say, hey, I'll buy another $185 worth of Cadena at $1.42. So Bybit used to, or on some assets, it'll actually put a line here and say, hey, you got a limit order here at $1.41. You got another one down here at $1.40. And uh, just for fun, let's say, let's set up a crazy low one and say, in case some huge whale sells off a ton of Cadena. And I'm gonna put one at $1.35 for $200. Now, if I go up to the top right and I hover my mouse over the assets tab and I scroll down to spot and click on spot, we are going to see that I have 680 Cadena that I just bought and I market bought and I can withdraw that right now. Now I'm going to click on the withdrawal tab. We are going to come back over to our notepad. We're gonna grab our Chainweaver wallet address. We're gonna copy that address. So if this is a cold storage wallet or a wallet that you're actually gonna to send to often, what you can do on Bybit is you can go to the address tab, you can click the add button and you can add a permanent address. So if I come over here and I type in KDA and I wanted to use this Cadena Zellcor wallet address or the Chainweaver, I could come over here, paste in this address. Down in the remarks, I'm gonna type in Zelcor KDA, W for wallet, and number six. That way I know it's my Zelcor Cadena wallet number six. And if I was gonna withdraw to that Chainweaver wallet address, I would actually add that here. But because this is just one of my test wallets for tutorials, I'm not even gonna actually gonna withdraw to here. I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do it. Now we're gonna click on the withdraw button again next to spot. We are going to come down to the dropdown. We're gonna type in KDA. We are gonna choose Zelcor wallet number six. And we can see there it's KBA639. And I just always like to check to make sure KAB639. Once I do it one time and I check one time, I'm good. But we wanna send a Chainweaver. So I would paste in my Chainweaver wallet address. You see, if you also make sure that if you have a, enter, if, if you pressed enter here, your address isn't gonna be right. You gotta make sure that the last digit is not a space. So we have our Chainweaver wallet address. We pasted it right here. We choose the chain. It's always gonna be KDA. And you can see the fee is only 0.1 KDA. Shout out to Bybit. I'm gonna choose all KDA. It'd be 68 Cadena. Choose all. And I'm gonna hit submit. We are going to slide the little thing here over. It'll say confirmation verified code sent. It's gonna say 60 seconds, but you actually have five minutes on Bybit. So if you come back over to your email, grab your withdrawal request copy your code, swing back over to assets, press paste, click submit, and make sure you hit confirm. All right, squad, if you're still with me, I need you to do me a favor. Could you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop some comments below if there's anything that you don't understand about withdrawing, transferring, sending Cadena. I know there's a lot of issues with cross-chain transfers, so that should be fixed very soon. If it's not, I'll make a video, but if you guys have any other questions about selling, transferring, sending, how to deposit, how to withdraw, anything about Cadena, please drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.